Hi guys, let's take a look at subtracting mixed numbers. This is uh, not a big deal. You should uh, be able to get this pretty quickly and uh, it's a handy skill to be able to do. And let's take a look at the first type here. And first off, let's go to, to an easier type. <clears throat> we can look at the integer and the fraction. And if you know that the number that is being subtracted as far as the fraction, is smaller than the fraction that is being subtracted from. That was a mouthful. You can just take a look at this and go, okay, four minus one is three. That's the integers. Then the half minus an eighth, you can just go ahead and figure out the common denominator. Four eighths plus, I mean, excuse me, minus one eighth is three eighths. Boom, there you go. Now, occasionally though, you get something like this, where you have five and one tenth minus one and 14 fifteenths. Now, if you look at this, <clears throat> you can go, okay, I'm going to do one-tenth minus 14 fifteenths. And you go, okay, well, I, <clears throat> I can't quite figure out what the deal with that is. Let's see here. Uh, you can, if you look at this, you could go, and that's a small fraction. That's not even close to being half. 14 fifteenths, that's more than half. So I can't subtract 14 fifteenths from one-tenth. So what you're going to have to actually do is you are going to have to borrow one number, or one, excuse me, from this five. Make this into a four. Now, if you have tenths and you borrow one, that's the same thing as 10 tenths, right? In other words, five is the same thing as four plus 10 tenths, okay? So what you actually have now, you have 10 tenths plus one tenth. Let me just write this uh, all in here. So we have four and 10 plus one, 11 tenths minus one and 14 fifteenths. Okay, now we can go to get to a point where we look at this and find a common denominator. Well, 10 and 15 both go into 30. And so let's rewrite this. Four and something over 30 minus one and something over 30. And this we can tell goes twice, so 14 times two is 28. This goes three times, 33. So four minus one, that's the integers you wanna mess with. Then 33 thirtieths minus 28 thirtieths give you five thirtieths. And of course, we wanna reduce the fraction as much as possible. Five into five goes once, and into 30 goes six times, and there you go, okay. You could also, if you wanted to, if you <clears throat> somehow blank out or something, you can look at this and go, okay, um, I'm just gonna turn this into a, an improper fraction. So 10 times five is 50 plus one is 51 tenths. And you could go, okay, one and 14 fifteenths. 15 times one is 15, plus 14 is 29. So you could go look at this and go, okay, well, 10 and 15, the common denominator is still the same, it's gonna be 30. 10 times three will give you 30. So 51 times three is 153. 15 times two is 30. So 29 times two is 58. So 153 minus 58 we have is 95 over 30. Then we just make this into a mixed number. 30 into 95 gives us three. There is of course five left over. Five over 30 is just what we saw just a second ago. So that reduces to one six. So either one of those is okay if you wanna use. Okay, all right, go to page 116 and work on A and come back and unpause it when you're finished with A. Okay, same thing here. You can do either one of two ways. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do this the, I'm, I'm gonna make this into an improper fraction way because I sure as heck don't wanna do it for that one. Ugh. Okay, so five times seven is 35 plus one is 36 fifths minus three times four is 12 plus two is 14 thirds. All right, common denominator, obviously 15. So we have 15 and then minus 15. So yuck, there we go. Five times three is 15. So 36 times three is 108. Three times five is 15. So 14 times five is 70. By the way, real quick, just very quickly. Look at this. This is about seven, right? Minus about five, correct? So your answer should be somewhere around two-ish. So when you get a final answer, you got, I got it. Seven and one fifth minus four and two thirds is 69 point, or 69 and three fifteenths or three twelfths or whatever. You gotta go, wait a minute, that's, that's ridiculous. Hang on, I, I gotta do this again. So that's the one way you can check yourself. Let's take, take a look here. 108 minus 70 is 38. 
and over 15. Now 38 divided by 15 is 2 and then there's 8 fifteenths left over. Now is that a reasonable answer based on we, we, our guess? Sure it is because it's you know around 2. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, this one, I mean, there's no way I want to multiply. Oh, I'm going to multiply 5 times 316 and forget that. So just go, you can't take away 7 eighths from 1 fifth. By the way, if you're ever not sure, just go ahead and use get a common denominator. Let's just go ahead and do 316 and let's do common denominator is 40. 1 fifth of 40 is 8 fortieths minus 4 n 7 eighths, 8 times 5 is 40, 7 times 5 is 35. Well, you could look at this and go, yeah, I can't take 35 from 8. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, okay, I'm going to borrow 40 fortieths from this. That makes it 315. So now I have 40 plus 8, or 48 fortieths. So I have 315 minus 4, which is 311. 48 minus 35 is 13 fortieths. And boom, there you go. Okay, all right. Everything going okay so far? We are 35 lessons into this, okay? We're inching up on about a third of the way finished with this. You should be getting at least 20, somewhere around 20, 25 of these Saxon lesson uh, practice problems right about every week. <clears throat> so if, you're, if you're, there are certain ones you're not quite getting right every time you're getting frustrated, go back and look at the lesson, look at your notes. Um, you know, if you want to email me, you can do that too. If you go to my website, homeschoolpartners.net, you'll find on there somewhere my email address. You can, you can find that if you want to. So contact me if you want. That's okay with me. Um, but you should be getting somewhere around 25 or so of these right, somewhere around there each time. And you want to keep building and building and focus on the ones you think you keep missing. But uh, okay, that's all I have to say. But have a great day, guys. Thank you, and we'll see you all next time. Take care.